Hello and welcome to the first of my tutorials, um, the theme of which are, is the uh, Python programming language. Now, um, I'm sure that you are familiar with the window that I have open here that I've just selected. Um, this is called the Python shell and you've been using this um, to write some very simple code over the last two lessons where the code goes in um, to this window like so um, and um, and this is all well and good uh, this is called idle um, it comes as part of the Python package and is a um, a nice and simple interface to um, the uh, getting Python to do stuff for you. Um, however, I want to start to use a different interface to the Python language, and that is uh, a application called PyScriptor. So I'm going to minimize uh, idle, and behind idle, I have open PyScriptor. Now, um, you can find this at, all, at the start button um, in all programs. I'm actually at home now, so I'm using Windows 8. Um, you have Windows 7 in school, um, but you can access PyScriptor through the start button and uh, by going to all programs and the program is in a folder called PyScriptor. Um, when you open PyScriptor, you will be faced with a window such as this. Um, and really, the main part of this toolbar here that I want you to have a look at is about halfway across, and it's this green arrow, um, and it's the Run button. Um, all code needs to be run. Um, it's um, the more technical term for it is executed, um, but all code needs to be executed or run. And the way that we run our code is with this run button here. So um, this area of white is the um, code window where I actually write my code. So if I go ahead and delete this off. I'm just going to write some code in here, a very, very small program that prints a statement. All right, let me, I've got caps lock on, that prints a statement. And there we go. Okay, so um, that is about as unexciting a program as I could write, but it is a program. It's uh, made up of one statement. And when I run my program, what happens? Well, I, I would like to see the output from my program. So I'm going to run that. And, uh, and nothing happens. That's because we really need this window here, down here, the Python interpreter, uh, this window needs to be opened, and by clicking it, I've just managed to move it. And you can see the output of my program right there. Let me just run it one more time so you can see um, what's happening. So I run it, and there's the output of my uh, Python program. So what uh, PyScriptor is allowing for is um, it's this window is where I write my code, and this window is where my code is displayed. And this is quite a useful uh, feature, um, as you can see what's happening, or what your code is doing when you run it straight away without another window opening. It's all there for you. So I'm going to put that back just down here. And if I just put it onto this window here, you'll see it'll just um, clip itself to that. And I'm just going to... Um, raise this up. No, I, I need to leave that actually, sorry. And I'm just going to go to view. If I go to the view window up here, 
go to IDE Windows, and I say Interactive Interpreter, and just lift that up. Oh, I've hidden it now. Sorry. Let me uh, re-show uh, it. There we go. Okay. And as you can see, it's along the bottom of the page there. You might like to have it there, or if you just click and drag the window, you can move it to where you like. So you can have it here, or indeed, if you like it, uh, you can have it up the top there, or indeed, I think. Uh, oh, that's pretty much it. That's the options. Okay. And this area can get slightly cluttered, so um, you can just highlight over, right click, and clear all and um, get a nice fresh window uh, in which to see your output. So, um, as I said, this is the way the code is written. This is where the um, code is output, or the output of the code is uh, displayed. And the main button we need is the run button here. And when we run code, it runs a statement there that shows the result here. So uh, I'm going to stop there and let you go to the Start button, um, which will be around here on your machines in school. And um, go to All Programs, then go to the PyScriptor folder, where you will see a series of PyScriptor links. And the one that you uh, need is uh, Python 3. Point, or PyScriptor 3.3 for version 3.3. Okay, I'm going to stop there and I will speak to you in a moment.